whatever it may be in the gym running lifting weights swimming whatever it is there's, there's as much going into it off the ice as there is on and that includes recovery as well, the physiotherapy, the just getting into the, the pool and just letting the muscles soak and recover for the next training session. That all goes into it, stretching. I particularly enjoyed watching Ashley and Atul dance. Uh, they're a very, very young couple and they just had so much charisma on the ice. Their performance was an absolute joy. The other couples were fantastic as well, but personally for me, I think they were the ones I enjoyed watching the most. Yeah, we've got some great young teams. Uh, so when they mature, they'll, they'll keep bringing that and, and uh, so it'll be fantastic to see in a few years' time as they mature. It's, as, it's the same in the in the lower categories as it was in the seniors like even though they're young they've still got people younger than them coming through this they're, yeah. they're all pushing each other forward they're all keeping that standard high they're all coming through together so they'll probably move up levels at very similar times keep pushing each other through yeah you can never rest on your laurels can you no you can never get complacent in sport and I think skating is particularly exciting because there is always that there is there could be something new something no one's ever tried before something that you know like the the, the jump I know most about is, is the salco and like the development of that mm -hmm. and how it was like well the triple was amazing no one's ever going to do more than that and then someone did a quad and it was like oh wow no one's ever going to do more than that what do you guys think is going to be the maybe the next the next stage the next thing people are able to do and I think what we have seen recently is the number of quads that people are doing mm. pushing it to five in a free program if and you know not not too long ago before we would one was as en as many as anyone was doing we think and now it's a program full of quads and you think that's quite frightening and I don't know where they can go whether whether the the powers that be will limit the amount it, and what factor that will play on the longevity of people's careers, how far they're hard they're pushing themselves, so it may be something that rules will have to come in to stop these skaters really annihilating themselves. Because there comes a point where the body can't take much more, is that right? Exactly. Yeah. There'll be a point of where they can't keep up and it'll, there'll no doubt be a bit of a regression before something, something crops up and I think we are at the point of really pushing forward now. was saying about the quads I mean you just look at the world championships it's just gone last season um, the penultimate group everyone was skating so beautifully but no one did the quad everyone was just giving out performances and it was fantastic to watch and then you get to the free to the final group and it was nicknamed the Splatfest because apart from the guy that won Nathan Chen everyone was trying the quads and everyone was falling over You're right because they're trying to push that limit and it's the body struggles with it. Yeah. And if it's not spot on, if the timing isn't if the, right, if the technique isn't there, if you're a little bit off axis, the more rotations you do, the worse the mistake gets. And they brought, they brought in a change to the rules in terms of the points for, for falls, the deductions for falls, where it was a standard one point deduction for a fall. And then they found some, some guys were getting so far ahead and being warned so many points that they could fall four or five times in the free program and still win. So they brought in the rule where your first two falls will still be a minus one. Anyone in 
you know three and more you'll get a two point I think it even goes up to three if you fall more than four times in yeah. a in a program so you know it's discouraging in a sense people trying too much and going right well let's get a clean program out rather than saying just throw yourself into every element hoping to, you know to get the rotation and get the base value for it um, instead of let's get some clean performances out here so things like that I think that there will work there will work rules in to encourage nicer cleaner performances um, which which would be nicer for the audience as well I think yeah because clean performance is very very enjoyable to, you to want watch. to see everyone go out there performing to you know getting clean jumps landing nice flowing programs which it can be a bit stop start when you when you when you're falling on a lot of elements and as an observer, you want to be seeing programs where people are really enjoying it. And I keep saying this again and again, but that is so good to see. Yeah. yeah. Things like that really bring the crowd in. When, when the performer looks to be enjoying their performance, it, it, makes, it makes everyone else enjoy the performance more, which um, reflects in the marks, it reflects into the reaction from the audience and from the crowd that really get behind you when... when you are enjoying what you're doing. It is the ice dance though where you do get the most the the broadest discrepancy between what each couple are doing because mm -hmm. there there are so many interpretations to the rule, the lifts. The, they they have uh, they've brought in slides this season so now you can slide on both knees you can slide across the ice and it, it doesn't class as a fall so it can be added to that component mark that second mark that performance mark so the the performances are so diverse so unique mm. you watch the top the, the dance couples in here as well um joe and robin and lila and lewis the programs are so different but the elements are completely different as well whereas like obviously in the men and the ladies the programs are different, but the jumps are the same. Yeah. The only real vary you get in what you can adapt is the spins, but that then again, that's limited to what your body can do. Mm -hmm. And the steps as well. I think the slide being a relatively new component, there's been a lot of variety and a lot of inventiveness with the slides we've seen today in the dance. Yeah. Um, I loved, the, I mean, the way Lila and Lewis finish. Their theirs program was excellent, yeah. Is, is a great way to do it. But I also, I really enjoyed Robin and, and, and Joe's lift there was one lift in their program that was stunning yeah um he was on one leg swinging around his head um, mm. and it's again it's unique yeah It was really enjoyable seeing the difference between their, their free skate and their set program as well. Mm. With the dance was really, really nice. Mm. 